science is about trying to understand real world processes and I think anytime you're trying to understand these processes um, you'll find that mathematics is there. The undergraduate physics programme is designed to try to train scientists to understand the world in a, in a fairly fundamental way. That's what we try to do as physicists. We try to get down to the nitty gritty of why things work, trying to scrape away the layers and get a deep understanding of why the universe and, and why the physical world looks the way that it does. Maths is basically everywhere. I mean, the lottery that people do every Wednesday night, Saturday night. It's in traffic lights, it's in the sequencing of the traffic lights. We use it in our iPod, it's on the internet. All of our students are familiar nowadays with Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and Google and stuff like that. But what many people don't realise is that those applications are brought to us by computer scientists. So computer scientists are responsible for designing Google, for designing YouTube, for understanding the protocols to work in the networking and they have to be good programmers, they have to have, be good problem solvers, and they also have to work in teams. My research is in astrophysics, so I'm trying to figure out problems that my colleagues would see when they point their telescopes up into the sky. My specialty is how uh, stars explode. In these explosions, you get the stuff that we're made of. So the carbon, the oxygen, and the nitrogen, everything made of that stuff was once trapped inside a star. That star got to the end of its life, exploded, was such a violent explosion that it spewed that stuff out into the Milky Way. It got mixed into a system then that evolved to become our own solar system and life. My research speciality would be in information systems and the security of information systems. And UCD has a centre for cybercrime investigation, for example. So I'm the director of that centre. And that centre works with Interpol and Europol and training law enforcement officers how to investigate cybercrime and how to do computer forensics, how to, re how to retrieve evidence from computers. You're tracking down all sorts of computer crimes, so that might be crimes involving paedophilic material being available on the internet, to fraud, um, to phishing attacks. And so law enforcement has to be trained how to track these people down and try and prosecute them at an international level. We're very interested in applications of maths, but I think there are a large group of people who are just do maths just because they love it. There's nothing like solving a problem. The thrill that you get when you've been thinking about a problem and you're so frustrated, then for some reason, someday it clicks, the light comes on, eureka, and you just get that buzz. And I think a lot of people do maths simply for that buzz. There's a field in computer science for everybody. And it's not all about a techie who's only interested in computing. There's loads of room in computer science for, for our creative people, for people who want to work in teams, and for people with good soft skills. Mathematicians have the ability to deal with complexity, to conceptualise and abstract a problem, to be creative, to be innovative, and to think logically about a problem. And I think these are the skills that are really valued by industry. 